This time on Hot Shots. If you're a speed enthusiast at all, you're going to see some good stuff today. Was able to pull off one of my best runs I've ever fired. If I do everything in my power, no one can touch me. This is my sport. This is bad. Somebody's calling an ambulance. Every sport is defined by greatness. I hold four Guinness World Records. By those chosen few whose talent transcends their game. That's how it's done. They're the world's best. So you want to shoot fast, huh? I am the best. The great ones. There it is. Money. The Hot Shots. Greater Los Angeles, home to almost 18 million people. Solitude can be hard to find here, but find it you must if you're the world's speed shooting champion. And tomorrow's the day you defend your title. This is usually my preparation day. I'll let everybody shoot on the range and wear themselves out. If you're not ready by now, you're probably not ready for the match. Steel Challenge, also known as the World Speed Shooting Championship, brings the fastest pistol shooters on Earth to Piru, California each summer. The first time he won it, KC Eusebio was a teenager. I was 15 years old. I didn't think it was a big deal, you know. I still was like, oh, that's cool, I won this match. And everyone praised me and said, man, that was such a good job. You're the youngest to ever win this match. That's a record. You know, and it's, it still, it didn't mean anything yet. But as I got older, I realized, man, that's a big deal. I want to be the first person to win this four times. I'm getting ready for war tomorrow. I take cleaning my gun extremely serious. You know, I don't want any excuses. I, won't, I don't want to say, oh, my gun was dirty, that's why I couldn't shoot as well. A young guy, 23 years old, I'm hungry. I need titles, I want wins. I honestly do believe if I do everything in my power, no one can touch me. This is my sport. While the champ relaxes, Steel Challenge Week rages on. Most of KC's rivals are hard at work. Jerry Michalak is wrapping up still another open revolver title. Something that's all but expected from the greatest wheel gunner in history. If I didn't do anything else right, I did that right today, so I'm, I'm pretty stoked about that one. Dave Savigny, meanwhile, edges out B.J. Norris in the limited match. Both are expected to be serious contenders in tomorrow's main event. So my truck was in the shop. Mm -hmm. And I got a rental van. I love it when I take my truck in to get some maintenance done. Because I usually get one of these. I've got no problems with driving a minivan around. I don't have that, that complex, I guess. I don't know if I should say this on camera or not. If it wasn't for the fact that these don't have four-wheel drive, I think I'd buy one. I'm a family guy, you know, and it's a family vehicle. Family guys should have family vehicles. Or something like that, I don't know. Whatever. Transportation issues aside. Samurai with his sword. It promises to be a busy day for extreme sports shooter Patrick Flanagan. Back to doing some behind the back shots. Been up since 6 a.m. Phone's been ringing off the hook. Sponsors, shows, events. Um, I've got to practice today out here as much as I can. I've got a photo shoot coming out here to do some quick photos for uh, a sponsor of mine. i got a local newspaper wants to come out. Tomorrow, Flanagan heads out on the second half of his summer tour. Okay, that target, shoot it just like so. And a countless string of performances that he's always trying to keep fresh. Just like that. Every time I start my shows, I'll look at my wife and I'll say, 
we have a set list, but I'll look at it and I'll just say, you know, where's the set list? We don't know. We always lose it. And, uh, and I'll ask her real quick to put something together and we'll put together a quick set list. I'll get out there and I'll just wing it and do it completely different than what it says on paper anyway. So my shows are all different. It's the Patrick Flanagan show. I can do what I want to do. Today, that means taking on something new. The hope is I can put three up there and basically in sequence, pop, pop, pop shoot three golf balls off without the cones flying off the table, just the golf balls going straight out. Lady Gaga would make this look cool. Huh? Man, this stuff sounded better when I was laying in bed thinking about it. Can't even kick it off. Manigan's happy. I gotta work on getting them pop, 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 shot a little bit quicker. And this will be a great shot at some point. It's a good day for Patrick Flanagan. But little does he know, he's about to face the moment that will change everything. Ah. My back is giving out. I'm laying out here in a field getting poured on. Can't get up. Hey, babe, I gotta go to the hospital, okay? Hot Shots is presented by Cheaper Than Dirt, America's ultimate shooting sports discounter. And sponsored by Daniel Defense. Lighter, stronger, better. Mossberg and the 930 JM Pro, the official shotgun of Jerry Michelek. Cool. Champion three-gunner Clint Upchurch shoots the Colt CCR Pro. And by Freedom Munitions. Freedom starts here. Hot Shots proudly support the National Rifle Association. We'll even pay $10 of your new or renewing NRA membership when you sign up through hotshotstv.net. This place brings back lots of memories for me, huh? I remember coming out here when I was eight, nine years old, and every Sunday I'd come up here and shoot some steel challenge with my dad. I'm in serious mode, trying to do work. There's no time for games right now. This isn't a game. This is business. What up, Kay? Good luck today, man. Good luck, man. You're good, all right? Yeah, you too, bud. For KC Eusebio and the fastest shooters on the planet, it's almost showtime. And if a perfect warm-up is any indicator, this is the kind of day where history could be made. How are you feeling? Outstanding. Perfect. Cloud nine right now. The Steel Challenge was born in 1981 and designed to be easy to shoot and easy to understand. The eight stages of fire are always the same, each a different layout of five steel targets. Shooters get five runs per stage, with their worst time being thrown out and the other four being added together to give them their score. There's going to be some racing going on today. If you're a speed enthusiast at all, you're going to see some good stuff today. The Super Squad is starting on the stage called Accelerator. At the buzzer, the World Speed Shooting Championship will be underway. In the open match, the pistols are heavily modified race guns, optimized for maximum speed with red dot optics, compensators, and lightweight frames. One contestant is an exception. Jerry Michalek might be the greatest all-around shooter who's ever lived. But his shooting a revolver puts him at a huge disadvantage in this division. I'm going to shoot against lightweight semi-automatic pistols. A lot of these guys are running a two-pound trigger pull or less. And this match is won and lost by trigger action. I have a half inch worth of trigger pull. These guys have 30 thousandths of an inch. So when I get up on the line and these guys are racing through the targets, they, they're perceiving very minimal trigger pull and weight. Well, I have a double action pull with about four or five times the weight that they're running. Advantages, disadvantages, uh, 
apples to oranges. So it's just fun to race against the pistol guys, keep them honest. Yet from the very beginning, Jerry is doing much more than simply keeping them honest. I shot accelerator exactly the way I wanted to. Every run was good. I finished up uh, my last run, was able to pull off one of my best runs on accelerator I've ever fired. When I got off that line, I was pretty excited about the whole event. Yeah, you stink. Uh, you were so damn fast, Jay. <laughs> so damn old. <laughs> Even though it might have not have been a winning time, to me, is it was exactly where I wanted to be as a competitor. La 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 la. <laughs> but while Jerry surges, KC gets off to a much slower start. You always have first stage jitters. The first stage is always the hardest for just about any match. I had two decent runs and two mediocre runs. I take them anyways because it's your first stage. First stage jitters out of the way. Shoot smoother from here on. It's only one stage, but the legend is already lurking. Jerry Michalek with his gun that's as out of place as a cow in a horse race is just nine one hundredths of a second out of the lead. That's like, don't count your chickens before they hatch. It's gonna be a long day. Being an extreme sports shooter means more than just being the exhibition shooter for a new generation. It also means subjecting your body to almost endless abuse. I'm used to cutting my fingers up. When I throw, they'll get cut. The physical and mental abuse of extreme sports shooting is easily comparable to any other professional sport out there today. I've been told by a lot of doctors that if I continue doing the sports that I currently do, that I won't be doing it much past the age of 35 or 40 years old. Tomorrow, Patrick Flanagan is scheduled to be back on the road for a string of performances from coast to coast. But after a quick photo shoot for one of his sponsors... Yeah, those are perfect. That's all I need. That's my next job. His plans change in an instant. We were almost done and called it a wrap. It was starting to sprinkle a little bit, and we had got everything we needed. And uh, let's get one more shot. You can throw a one trying to catch some footage of a camera coming right back in my face here on the barrel of the gun. You guys ready? And boy, did we get a shot. Ah! I'm done. Oh, The pain was excruciating. I didn't know what happened. I mean, all of a sudden your legs give out, your nerves are whatever, and you're in tons of pain. You're thinking you broke your back. My back, something's in my back is giving out. I'm laying out here in a field getting poured on. I can't get up. I mean, I'm laying there going, this is bad. We're either going to be getting me a chair to wheel out here or somebody's calling an ambulance because I can't get up. It was the most helpless feeling I've ever had in my life because the pain, my lord, it was terrible. Kind of go, go that way, though, a All little right. bit. Hold on. Worst part was standing literally within inches of the ah. car door in ah. our attempt to race me off to the to ER, and, ah. and I can't move. You know, my camera guys are trying to get me, okay, go, dude, you're right there. You're right in the car, but I can't sit down. Hey, babe, I gotta go to the hospital, okay? All I can think to myself is my career could be over, and wow, it just got started. It's tweaked, it's pulled, it's, it's popped, it's torn. I don't know what the hell I did. What do I do? 
that's a question Jerry Michalek has rarely had to ask on a shooting range. And as the world's fastest shooters move to the difficult pendulum stage, Jerry is putting his experience to work. That's one of those stages where if you try to be the man here and bow up on it, it will soon bury you. So I've seen a lot of good competitors die on pendulum. I didn't want to be one of those. So I just shot it strong, stopped the gun, made the hits. Who's that guy? Thank you. Survivable. After I finished up on pendulum, I looked at the score sheet and it was, it was a, a very much survivable run. Uh, I didn't dig a grave deep enough to where I couldn't climb out of it. It wasn't exactly where I wanted to be, but it was survivable. A lot of the guys were having trouble, and I could see that uh, my run was going to be very competitive there. Among those struggling is the defending champion, KC Eusebio. That was rough. While KC gives up almost a second to the leader, Jerry keeps his grip on second place. If he can somehow overtake B.J. Norris and win the World Speed Shooting Championship with a revolver, it will be one of the greatest feats in the history of competitive shooting. Hot Shots is presented by Cheaper Than Dirt, America's ultimate shooting sports discounter, and sponsored by Daniel Defense, lighter, stronger, better. Mossberg and the 930 JM Pro, the official shotgun of Jerry Michalak. Colt, champion three-gunner Clint Upchurch shoots the Colt CCR Pro. And by Freedom Munitions. Freedom starts here. Hot Shots proudly support the National Rifle Association. We'll even pay $10 of your new or renewing NRA membership when you sign up through hotshotstv.net. At the Steel Challenge, fun always comes first. Even for the two at the top of the standings. What's the friend for, huh? <laughs> BJ was trying to give me some trail mix. You know, I, you know as, a, as a polite Southern person, I accepted his uh, kindness, but I think some of the raisins were secondhand. <laughs> How's your raisin back? <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> he took offense to it. I don't know why. <laughs> It looked like a used raisin. <laughs> You're not licking them and putting them back, are you? Point, <laughs> I just don't like a used raisin. I don't know what, what's about it. You know, a wet raisin, just it's not... Nah, nah. <laughs> what's that? <laughs> <laughs> I like a raisin now and then, but I didn't get to be 57 by e uh, eating a used raisin. You know? <laughs> <laughs> On the serious side, the World Speed Shooting Championship has now arrived at its most famous stage, Smoke and Hope. Smoke and Hope is one of the fastest stages there. There's four big rectangles on the stop plate. The match leader, B.J. Norris, is up first. It wasn't long ago that B.J. was a young shooter attending Jerry and Kay Michalak's summer clinics. First time I saw him shoot, uh, Kay and I talked about him that night. Matter of fact, first time we saw him, he uh, stood out from the crowd uh, with his ability already. Now he's doing all he can to hold his mentor off. Bye. His time will be the day's third best, but Jerry's will be number one. Practice this year, I didn't practice it very hard. Uh, I was having trouble with it. Got some good runs. I was pretty surprised the way it went. <laughs> Inexplicably, the wheel gunner betters everyone else and closes to within a tenth of a second of BJ's lead. I beat BJ. <laughs> but I got in a little bit of trouble when I when I got off of Smoking Hope. I was uh, feeling too good. I was getting <laughs> I was getting kind of close to the to, on the leaderboard. Uh, I think I was starting to get distracted and didn't know it yet. It was the start of my demise. Next up is Outer Limits, 
the stage that Jerry has had more problems with over the years than any other. And even with the confidence born from personal best the two previous days, a nemesis is just that. I was feeling confident until I got on the line, and then the wheels started to fall off. After being at his best all day, Outer Limits brings out Jerry's worst. A disastrous 46th place finish on the stage seals his fate. So that instantly put me down four seconds in the match, which is death to the competitor. There's no way you can catch up four seconds. Even to right now when I'm sitting here talking to you, I really don't know what happened mentally. I don't know if I was excited and didn't feel it, uh, or that gorilla caught me in between the boxes again. He seems to always be lurking there, waiting for me on outer limits. Uh, it's one of my, uh, one of my dreads is to go up on outer limits, and I guess he was bigger than what I thought he was gonna be. With Jerry out of contention, B.J. Norris is able to hold on for his first World Speed Shooting Championship. I can't really put into words what it was like. It was definitely a, a moment I will never forget in my entire life. <laughs> KC's strong finish vaults him to third. Next year. Jerry falls all the way to 10th and is left bearing the weight of what could have been. After the awards last night, I looked at Kay when we were heading back to the hotel room. I said, you know, Steel Challenge crushed me again. Every time I come here, I can shoot my best, and I go. And I, when I leave the awards, I'm always crushed. I was able to uh, let myself slip into the abyss there, and that's just how fast it happens. That's competition, you know. Looking forward to next year already. We might have to call an ambulance out here, you guys. I'm not I don't even know if I can sit down. I can't even, I can't put pressure on the left foot either. 